So the Hawker 556 got a buff in the season 4 reloaded update. And in my opinion, this is the new best assault rifle in the game in the whole entire war zone 3. I got an extremely high kill win in solo squads in today's video for you guys, man, showcasing this brand new Hawker 556 setup. So if y'all enjoy that gameplay, man, y'all be sure to watch this video all the way through, man. Class setup will be at the beginning because this gameplay is absolutely insane. And I'm going crazy with this Hawker the whole entire gameplay. Y'all be sure to drop a like and subscribe if y'all new, man. And let's go ahead and hop into the class setup. All right, guys, coming in with that number one attachment, man. We have the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, guys. Give you the undertake by radar give you recoil control and also give you bullet velocity and range i think that this gun right here it just needs a little bit more uh range and uh hit bullet velocity and stuff like that so that's why i'm using the vt7 spirit fire and it's also give you recoil control because this gun does have a little bit uh like a weird recoil pattern coming in with our second attachment man we have the cryo six match barrel give you that bullet velocity and range recoil control and gun kick control like i said for the suppressor guys this gun has a weird rear bullet velocity kind of like uh, a hit detection kind of feel to it and stuff like that so you need to put the the most attachments on it possible to help you out with the recoil control obviously and obviously the hit detection and bullet velocity coming in with our third attachment man we have the brewing heavy support grip give you that gun kick control aiming idle sway and also give you horizontal recoil control which is the only amount of recoil this thing has man it just has like a weird kick um you can hold the hold the stick down and stuff like that with this brewing heavy support grip It'll only give you vertical recoil control, and it makes it way, way easier to just hold the stick down and shoot your targets. For our fourth attachment, man, we have the Jack Glassic Optic, man. Uh, our sights are always personal preference, but I feel like the Jack is the most smoothest sight for this weapon and stuff like that, man. Especially when I'm playing Rebirth or Vondell or whatever. Um, this Jack Glassic is the best uh, sight, in my opinion, for this Hogan 556. And coming in with our fifth and final attachment, guys, we have the 40-round mag. Now, the, the stock mag on this thing is only 30, guys. This is the biggest downfall to this weapon, in my opinion. Is the biggest mag being able to only be a 40 round mag if you can use like a 45 or 50 round mag on this weapon it'd be absolutely insane but the 40 mag does do because it has a slow fire rate and it hits really hard so the 40 round mag is not that big of a deal because it doesn't have an extremely fast fire rate. all in all guys this is the class setup for the uh hogan 556 in today's video guys so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video man y'all watch this gameplay all the way through and i'm going crazy with this the whole entire time enjoy I mean, to go all the way over there, shit. Holy shit.
gas station. Is this customs? Nah. I was fully played. Yeah, I just wasted silver. Oh. Requesting recon flyover. Oh, that's what looking at me. Okay, I see. Enemy. Vision. Enemies are dropping into They won't hit this thing at all?
Enemy mark. What is everybody? No sé de dónde. Ya me ha perdido. Hay un tiempo perdido. en el agua. Ah, man. Train station shit, boy, that shit just...